I was sent this video in Instagram. And if you listen to this video, there are several men explaining why they are currently homeless. And they are talking about their relationships, their broken down marriages or whatnot. And if you listen to them, listen to them really closely. It's like something was being done to them, not that they were active participants in these relationships. Most of them would probably say that they were blindsided, like, I just came home and, you know, it was over. And all of a sudden now, because of it, they have nowhere to live. Watch this video. Just watch it. And you tell me what you hear. You know, so many times you get on these social media streets and you hear men talking about accountability, accountability, when I do not believe that they really know what it means to be accountable. Because for so many of these humans, they don't take accountability or responsibility for their behaviors. It's just, she divorced me and took everything and now I just have to live out here on the streets. So watch this and let me know what you think. Wife informed me that she wants a divorce and I left just to keep the peace. Keep the peace and I'm still here. The locks, I went back the next day and the locks were changed. And I've been on the streets for about 30 years. And uh, the reason why I become homeless is uh, me and my wife got a crucial divorce. Bad marriage, uh, I just, a broken heart and hit the streets. Me and my wife getting a divorce. Family, one minute they want you to stay. A week go by, time to leave again. So it's just very difficult. Well, I went through a bad divorce. Lost everything I had and moved out here to start over. Went to the doctors and doctors took me out of work because I got rheumatoid arthritis and my ki uh, liver is failing. Lost my house, my kids, my car to a violent relationship. A broken marriage. Relationship? Yeah. Lost it. I have emotional issues I couldn't deal with. Car broke down. Ran into the wrong people at the wrong time. Got robbed. Lost pretty much everything. A divorce. Uh, then I rented a room, and then I came down with epilepsy and started having seizures, and the guy didn't want me there. And the next thing I know, I was in a assisted living house. Got a job in a restaurant again, which I was an executive. So for some of the comments on the post, this woman says, I have worked in homeless services for 20 years. I have encountered a lot of men who became homeless after the relationship ended. The part a lot of them don't reveal until later is that the woman was supporting them and sometimes their habits. Also met um, many men who ended up on the street after their mom died. Basically, some didn't have the skills or motivation to live as a self-sufficient adult. So many of these men will end up like this because it is a woman's job to cook. It's a woman's job to clean. It's a woman's job to manage the household, and that has got to change. And so many of these men don't even have their children to fall back on if they get on tough times because they don't build a relationship with their children. Dudes, y'all better get it together. This person agreed with guilty pleasure above, saying, exactly. I work with a lot of men like this. Every point in their lives they were stably housed was because they moved in with a woman who had her own housing. At no time did they leave their family home to live independently. Most are codependent on women to take care of them. They don't know how to survive on their own. When given the opportunity to achieve independent, independent housing, they fumble it. I ran a housing program, which has more men participating, up to 79%, yet the attrition rates for women was much higher. So listening to this, understand, understand, men need to understand that the mom to wife pipeline is drying up. Many women are opting out because women are tired of handling man children or king babies. That, that is the reason why so many of these people are living on their own like this, or they are becoming the pests that want to nest and rest. They want to be a parasite um, up, up under or sucking the life forces off of a woman because they just refuse to learn how to adult alone.
So Guilty Pleasure TV responded to that other person saying, oh, for sure. I rarely saw the women I worked with return after they found housing, but it wasn't uncommon to see a handful of the same men cycle through year after year, even some who got their own places. And if I didn't see them come back to the shelter, I would see them living on the street in the area. In my younger social, social work years, this would have aggravated me because we tried every possible way to support them. But as I've gotten older, my thinking is um, we are here for them when they are ready and we can't force it. This person says, let's hear from the ex-wives now. Exactly. What is their point of view? Were they the ones that were handling all of life? Probably. Because otherwise, how do you end a relationship and you can't eventually get yourself back together? DC Money does say, you sound like a single mother. They literally have no creativity where it comes to <laughs> their clapbacks. This person says the ex-wives did not lock them out of the house for a reason. Now here comes me. He says, ain't no MF and way your goofy butt blaming the men for their ex-wives taking everything away from them. Nuclear levels of delusional. You bout, you bout to stay single for, as long, for a long um, time, LOL. And then she responds with, I would much rather be single than be with someone who has these issues. And he responds with, just keep that in mind when you're dry up and you got nobody taking care of you. He doesn't understand that women are perfectly fine with being able to live alone. These men are failing to really understand that women typically are the ones running a household. It becomes easier when men like this are out of the household because you have one less adult to clean up after okay this person at the top says remember there are two sides to every story okay that is true um then this woman says i bet a thousand dollars 90 percent of those guys were cheating and or using drugs or alcohol but it's the women's fault poor little gro um, grown-up babies and then van says yeah i don't know why these incels are crying women are pious beings incapable of doing anything wrong they still blame the woman he says I am six foot two, by the way. <laughs> they literally make their height, their personality, and that always makes me chuckle. This person at the bottom says, you don't even know them women. What are you talking about? Um, so all women act alike, all women. This is the whole issue when, when people talk about all. No one is saying all. Aphrodite says, so you couldn't do it without the woman, huh? Foreigners do it all the time, cross the border, leave everything behind with nothing in their pocket and pick themselves up again. My mom did it, came here to the U.S. with $100 in her pocket, slept in a church, working daytime as a dishwasher in a restaurant. Two years later, she brought us here, now working as a single mom um, with two kids under 10. She is here 20 years later. She owns her own restaurant. No man helped her. All I hear is excuses. I'll end it with this one. This person says, imagine blaming your wife for your failings and drug use. It's almost comical. I'm happy for all the ex-wives who finally escaped them. Exactly. No accountability. No, no part of this is their fault, really. Their language is so passive. Orange says, it's clear why you're, sing why you're a single lady. Quite the miserable and vile person. They have no talking points. All right. And then this person at the bottom, I'll let this be the end, says, let's say all the men weren't at all at fault. It doesn't account for the permanent homelessness, though. Why didn't they have a job at all when kicked out? Men threaten women with you will be alone and miserable when it's them that fall apart like this. They cannot seem to function at all without a partner, whereas women kicked out find a way to bloom. Exactly. What is the difference? The difference is women will rebound. We know how, we know how, because we ran the first house. It just takes a little while, but we do rebound. I want y'all to weigh in. What do you think about this one? Don't forget to like, comment, and share.